Hi, if you follow my account, I just posted three videos about the truth that you cannot lose your salvation. But also, I want to share that in context of the Bible, speaking about the warning against abusing God's grace. And the book of Jude was a book written about false teachers and false doctrine. And he's contending earnestly for the faith that was once delivered for all the saints. He says, Beloved, I was very eager to write to you about our common salvation. I found it necessary to write appealing to you to, account, to contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. For certain people have crept in long crept in unnoticed who were long ago destined for condemnation, ungodly people who pervert the grace of our God into sensuality and deny our only master and Lord, Jesus Christ. And that word for pervert the grace of God into sensuality, that word sensuality is also the word um, lasciviousness. Um, it's hard to say, but it literally means, it comes from the word license. They, they, use the word, they use the grace of God as a license, as a free pass to sin. Think about in school when you have the hall pass, you could basically go anywhere you want in school. And if you get yelled at for um, not being in class, you can say, I've got the hall pass. People use God's grace as a hall pass to do whatever they want, to go out and sin, to go out and live this immoral life and say, oh, God's grace, man, don't judge me, God's grace. And when people use God's grace as an excuse to sin, it shows that they're most likely not saved or they have a huge misunderstanding of the gospel. You, once you, have the, once you know God, you start to fear God and you fear sinning against him if you're truly a Christian. It also says in the book of Romans, chapter 6, um, Paul gets done talking about God's grace and how God's grace, it says when sin abounds, grace abounds even more. It says, Now the law came to increase the trespass, verse 20, but where sin increased, grace abounded all the more, so that as sin reigned in death, grace also might reign through righteousness, leading to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And then Paul responds, What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin so that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin still live in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead, we might to walk in newness of life. And Jesus is saying, no, by no means, you cannot continue to live in sin just because God is gracious doesn't mean you can live in sin because you have died. You have died to sin. You have died to the dominion of sin and you were crucified with Christ so you can no longer live that lifestyle. So people that use God's grace and abuse God's grace and use it as an excuse to sin, they are very much deceived because we cannot continue to live in sin.